All right, so let's generate an Ethereum, an Ethereum Classic wallet. So we are on the main page, myetherianwallet.com. Always, always double check this 100 times. And as always say, grab this and save as your favorite. Put it in the tab, put it somewhere. Never search for the site. Because there is, there are other ones called my Ethereum wallets with the S and the N, and that will be a scam site. And there are many ones. Just by changing one letter, you never know. You don't pay attention. You scan in too fast, and they're gonna steal everything from you. So memorize everything. The exchanges, anything you use, always memorize the site. So do not search for anything. So done. Now, we're going to follow this step exactly as we're supposed to do in the site. Before we do that, we're going to get starter because we need to create this offline. You can read all this, but we're going to jump it. We're going to go all the way down, all the way down until we see how to run a new offline wallet locally. We're going to click right over there. Then at this point, we need to go to the GitHub site. And here you're gonna press it, my Ethereum wallet. You press here, and this one brings you to the GitHub. Today, day that is version 3.11, 3.2. Possible months for now is a different version, but the steps are the same. So you're gonna be follow. You're gonna be downloading your Ethereum wallet, the latest version. You can download it and save in your computer. Depends what computer you use. We'll be saving different location. This is a window. Will be in my desktop or my downloads. When it's done, I'm gonna. Minimize this. It's in zip format. I'm going to unzip it. I'm going to open it. Go back. And we're going to see here a bunch of files. The one we need to execute is the index HTML file. But before we do this, we're going to be offline. So what you need now to do now, if you're on Windows 10, you can put your computer in, in airplane mode. Um, if you're not, you can go into the control panel and, and disable your, uh, your connection. If that gets too complicated, you can just disconnect the right, right. If it's hardwired, you can just disconnect the wire in the back. If that don't work, just go and take the power of your router or if you modem for a little bit. So you're 100% disconnected. So we're going to execute this. We're going to execute it there. And this is what we see right in the beginning, this page. And if you pay attention here, it looks local. It's a Windows version. So it's going to go file CC user and whatever calls your uh, your username so if you run a mac will be different depends what computer but you're flying more well, enough i'm offline well pretty simple just open a new tab try to search cool you see if it shows that it means i'm connected so do a little search and if you click any any anything it shows up it mean you need to be offline this is a demo so i don't need to be offline make sure you are in the Ethereum. okay Ethereum, the first one right there not Ethereum Classic. So now we're going to generate it. We're going to put a password. Generate the wallet. Now we need to download the Jackson file. Read this. Do not lose it. If not, you're not going to get anything back. Do not share it. And make a backup. So we're going to download this. Now, I'm going to download that. What you're going to do now, you're going to copy this in some external formal drive, in a USB drive, in an external hard drive, and something external. You're not going to copy this into a cloud format or anything. This file needs to be offline forever. And to the day, you need to send all your balance. I understand to continue because you read that already. So continue, and that's already your private address. So you can print this page if you want, but you can go here and then you're going to print this page. You print this page where you already know you, you public address. This is the one you need to share with your friends and anyone. Then. And this is the one you do in the deposit. Private address, we don't need to know anything right now. So we finish that. We come back and we need to save your address. Click on it once again. We need a JSON file. We select the file. We just download. And we need to put the password. We unlock it. 
and the information is here. I need to copy my public address. This is the one I need to save. Anywhere, whatever. This is the one you're going to be making the deposit, all you Tyrians. Here, it will show you if it's anything, but this will bring you action. It's not going to show you any balance yet. So here is all the information you download, and it's your private address. If you click here, we'll show you back again. And that's it. At this point, it's been unlocked. You save it, it's done. Now, if I want to view this again for some reason, some reason uh, I don't know my public address anymore, whatever the case is, you can go here, view the information, and you're going to put this again, and you're going to select the file. You're going to do the same process again. But I do not recommend you to do this. If, you do the, if you're going to do this, you're going to have to do this offline. All right. Now, I want to view my balance. Now, you can put your computer back online. Let's say you finish and you've been doing the passes. I don't know if everything goes good. I'm getting the money there. That's pretty simple. This can be done online by going send a tokens. But you're going to click only view address only. So you click here, your address only, paste your public address, view your balance, and you got it. You see your Tyrians, and if you have any token, you will see that too. And you don't need your private address or any checks on file. Well, okay, so it's a time now, it's okay. I collect a lot of Tyrians, time to cash out. I want to send it to maybe a hard wallet. Maybe I want to send it to an exchange. Since this is only for deposit, not meant uh, uh, to um, shopping with this. So it's a safe only address. So what we're going to do now, we're going to send all the balance, a full balance. So right over here, I'm going to put from my public address. I'm going to put now my my destination address, maybe my new wallet. Please always confirm this a hundred times. All the information is there. We're going to generate the information first. That's all done. They said I want to put whatever the amount I'm going to send, they send it all. It's in Ethereum. Remember always, if you're going to send Ethereum, Ethereum. Do not try to send Ethereum to Ethereum classes or vice versa because you will lose all your coins. We're done. Next, my next step, and this is off offline, all right? This is offline sending. Now, my checks on file. Go back and grab it back again. I type password. I'm going to unlock it. It's done. I'm going to generate transaction. That's it, you see? It's all done. Now, at this point, yes, we need to be online. So now... At this point, you're going to put your computer back online, and when it's online, you click send and done.